hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this video we are going to talk about full disclosure principle of accounting which is really simple and straightforward as the name suggests itself full disclosure which means we have to fully disclose something yes so this principle is all about transparency okay but now let's precisely and logically understand what this principle is trying to tell us so for that let's read this see here the full disclosure principle requires management to report all relevant information about the company in their financial statements so that users of financial statements are in a better position to make important decisions regarding the company yes that is what this principle is trying to tell us that whatever relevant information is there all that has to be fully disclosed in the financial statements of the company now understand in this case financial statement doesn't only mean statement of profit and loss balance sheet cash flow statement and statement of changes in equity no 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 not just these four but also notes to financial statement and also any other explanatory material that is required in the country in which this company is operating in yeah everything statement of profit and loss balance sheet cash flow statement statement of change in equity and then notes to financial statement and any other explanatory material which is required okay everything so all the relevant information will be disclosed in that and then what will happen users of financial statement after reading those financial statement they will be in a better position to make important decisions regarding the company because you all know see it's really simple to understand see these external stakeholders right not the management okay all the external stakeholders right they are not directly involved with the company yeah they are not directly involved with the company they don't know what is happening with the company they are not visiting the company i'm talking about big companies not small a small business no big companies i'm talking about mncs infosys reliance company yeah all these big companies tata yeah whatever that is happening in that company they are not completely aware of that directly how do they get you know information about the company from the news isn't it from the news and the financial statements yeah from the financial statements only these people these parties they understand financial performance of the company yeah profit or loss they understand financial position yeah how much asset it has how much liabilities it has and then they also understand the liquidity how much cash do they have all these things what is the earning capacity of the company yeah price earning ratio and many other things are there which they understand by reading the financial statement which is available in public right so that is the thing because see investor has to decide do i invest in this company or not should i you know withdraw my investment from there creditors should i lend money to this company or not yeah bankers and all they are they have to take decision na company is coming to the bank please give us a loan so the bankers have to decide is it a good idea to lend money to this company will they pay us back along with the interest yeah so all these important decision regarding the company will be taken only after carefully researching on that company by looking at the news as well as the financial statement mainly the financial statement but also the news news is also important because in the news only there will be what critical information in financial statement mostly critical information will not be there of course they might you know uh include critical information but it will be hidden in you know so much information so that is why news are also very important okay so suppliers suppliers also have to take decision yeah should we sell our you know uh, stock to these people to the company right how much credit period we have to give to them all these decision they have to take even management itself also need this financial statement so that they can take managerial decision that is why we have management accounting okay and the government tax authority customers labor unions competitors public yeah everyone all these parties understand the company only through financial statement is that clear yes you got that now the main thing is is all information included disclosed in financial statement all information no 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 not all information only relevant information now you will ask sir what is relevant information and non relevant information see that is a very good question so let's understand that see here information is relevant when it is capable of making a difference in the decisions made by the users of financial statement what did i say information is relevant if it is capable of making a difference in the decisions made by the users of financial statement 
let's just say for example this investor he wanted to invest in this company okay so he has this uh, decision in his mind that he is going to invest in this company but after going to the page to a financial statement let's just say for example okay what he saw was he saw one information which changed his mind which changed his mind and he changed his decision that he is not going to invest in that company okay he is not going to invest in that company so understand that information was relevant because it changed the decision of that investor let's just say the management did not disclose that information then what happened they did not follow full disclosure principle yeah because that information was relevant see here by disclosing that information on the second page for example i'm just taking simple example okay on second page that information one line let's just say yeah by disclosing that it changed the mind of this investor yeah so it was a relevant information is it clear but now you will ask okay sir we got that uh, you know information is relevant when it is capable of making a difference in the decision made by the users of financial statements okay but now when information will have such capability when information will have such capability of changing the you know making a difference in the decision made by the users of financial statement when information will have that capability it's really simple see here when information possesses confirmatory value or predictive value or both confirmatory value predictive value or both okay either it will be confirmatory value or predictive value or both fine so now what is confirmatory value really simple confirmatory value means that it confirms something that happened in the past provides information about past events for example in you know in the month of december we have sold let's just say 50 lakhs okay 50 lakh revenue has happened so this is what this provides information about past events predictive value means what you understood confirmatory value now whatever that has happened in history in past it confirms over here then that is confirmatory value that means that information has confirmatory value okay now understand predictive value predictive value means that it provides predictive power regarding possible future events yeah it gives the idea to the you know person who is uh, reading that information that they get a power that they can forecast something they can predict something that okay this may happen in future because of the information which i'm reading right now from that they understand okay uh, such and such event can happen because of this yeah provides predictive power regarding possible future event for example for example i will take an example where you will understand this okay so let's just say for example we are a construction company okay xyz we are a construction company and you know our worker got badly injured let's just say yeah he was working with one tool or something and you know that tool was defective we purchased the company purchased that tool but that tool was defective okay now what happened was let's just say it was not defective it became defective and we did not replace it okay we did not replace it uh, you know we said okay it's working now let's, let's just leave it let's just see you know for how many years it will work let's just see later when it will be completely defective then only we'll replace it yeah something like that so what happened worker was working with that tool and let's just say his arm got cut off because of that yeah so now what did that worker do that employee he filed a lawsuit against our company xyz he filed a lawsuit okay a case so now in the court that case is pending okay the order has not come whether we have lost or won the case that has not happened the result has not come out uh, you know it is pending the lawsuit is pending but we have a what do you say lawyers right the company has lawyers so company knows that you know 30 percent chance is there that we are going to lose the case yeah we are going to lose the case and we might have to pay we may have to pay 1 million in fine to the uh, employee okay you will we are going to you know maybe we are going to lose the lawsuit okay that is the situation right now now how did we come to know that we are going to lose our lawyers told us because they know now they have read the law and everything they know how the situation is so they give us this advice that we may lose okay so now how we are going to you know treat this according to full disclosure principle the full disclosure principle says that whatever relevant information is there it has to be disclosed in financial statements 
yeah so by following this full disclosure principle what the company the management the accountant has to do is of the company what they have to do is they have to disclose this event this event that worker was you know uh, what do you say the worker was injured his arm got cut off and we have to recognize important thing we have to recognize a contingent liability of 1 million because the fine is of 1 million now so contingent liability of 1 million we may have to pay 1 million to this worker in case if we lose the law suit okay that is the thing what is contingent liability contingent liability means that in future we may have a liability there is a difference between liability and contingent liability liability means present financial obligation present financial obligation because of a past event right but contingent liability means a liability may arise in future liability may arise in future that means contingent liability yeah so in the footnotes of financial statement in the notes to financial statement we will mention contingent liability 1 million so you see when investor creditor when they will see the financial statement let's just say investor is seeing the financial statement and in notes to financial statement he sees contingent liability 1 million so what is the idea investor is getting now investor is getting the idea that in future if the company loses the case then company will have a outflow of cash of 1 million you see future event see here provides predictive power regarding possible future events yeah it's a relevant information because it has a predictive value yeah maybe company will lose the case and maybe company will have to pay 1 million to that worker cash outflow is there now 1 million it's a considerable amount okay so that is the thing this is how full disclosure principle is applied okay i just gave you one descriptive example over here okay contingent liability example fine now i'll just show you a big list of this application of full disclosure principle now this is not everything but you know almost many things are there over here so see here applications of full disclosure principle following are some of the information that can be disclosed in the financial statements okay accounting policies that are followed acknowledgement of change in accounting policies or accounting system or a fiscal year or any other accounting principles yeah if there is any change in all these things it has to be disclosed properly okay and then see here inventory losses uh, due to demand decrease obsoleteness or damage yeah significant write down if it has happened all those things have to be disclosed properly nature of non monetary transactions all financial statements yeah financial statement should be detailed everything should be there including footnotes or any other explanatory material yeah supplementary notes footnotes means notes to financial statement and supplementary notes means any other explanatory material and then pending lawsuits of the large value should be disclosed as i just gave you the example that contingent liability 1 million yeah any future expectation of changes in tax rates methods of depreciation being followed so whatever relevant information is there in the company whatever changes that has happened over the year or anything new has happened if it is relevant if it has confirmatory and predictive value that means it has to be disclosed in the financial statements okay that is what full disclosure principle is trying to uh, you know is telling us okay so this was the entire idea and a very in depth idea about full disclosure principle so i think you have got this it was very simple okay so that's it for this video see you in the next video bye